Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to import RSS feeds into Microsoft Excel. Now an RSS feed is really simple syndication. This is going to allow you to do things like import the latest headlines from a news website, you can import the latest stock updates, or you could do things like get all the updates from your Twitter account from an RSS feed. And the updates from your Twitter account is something I showed you how to do in another tutorial. But let's go ahead and get started with this. Now, if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So the goal of this is going to be to import an RSS feed, particularly news headlines, into Excel. So I want to get the headlines right here, and then I want to get a link to the headlines right here so that I can click the link to read the article if I feel like it. I don't want to have to have my browser window open. I don't want to have to click through a bunch of websites. I just want to get this data really simple, really easy, and if I want to read something, I want to click and go to it. That's the goal. Now the first thing we need to do is to make sure you've got the developer tab. By default, the developer tab will not show up. So what you have to do is go to the office button, then Excel options, then on the popular tab, make sure you check the checkbox next to show developer tab in the ribbon. By default it's going to be unchecked, so check that box, then click OK. Alright, now that you've got your developer tab, go ahead and click the source button. So there's an XML box and we want to click the source button in that. You're going to see a little XML source box open up right here. And soon, this is where we're going to see all of our data. So now let's go ahead and get our RSS feed. I'm going to go ahead and open up a browser real quick. All right, now I'm going to use Yahoo's News Services for this tutorial to do this. Um, they have very good RSS syndication, and it's very helpful. So what you want to do, uh, the easiest way to get there is go to the Yahoo homepage, hover over View Yahoo Sites, then click News. Or if you can remember it, simply news.yahoo.com. So news.yahoo.com. Once you're there, don't worry about any of this stuff. Simply go all the way to the bottom of the page. And there you will see RSS right next to the RSS button. Click that. Now these are all the topics that we can get our RSS feeds on. So you got top stories, US national, world. So you got a lot of choices. Find what you want. In this case, since I'm doing news, I'm just going to go ahead and get the top stories. So what you want to do then, click the little orange broadcast button right here. You'll see a window that looks like this, or a page that looks like this. This is um, pretty much a lightly formatted XML file for your RSS feed. Now what you want to do is highlight the URL and then copy that. So you want to copy this URL up here once you've gotten to the RSS feed that you want. You know it's an RSS feed because of the way it looks with this uh, little orange thing up here and the format of the page. Once you've copied the URL, we can simply close or bar line the browser. Then go back to your XML source window right here. Click XML Maps. This window here is going to open up, then go ahead and click Add. And a little window to browse your computer is going to open up that looks like this. Now it doesn't really matter where or what the location is, because what you want to do is go down to where it says File Name, and if I hover over it you'll see it says enter the file name or web address. So you're going to copy the URL, or paste the URL that you just copied in there. Then what you want to do is go ahead and click open. Once you've done that it'll say contacting the server and then you might get a window like this. The specified XML source does not refer to a schema. Excel will create one. Don't worry about this, doesn't matter. Simply click OK. Then you will see a little guide just like this. If you want to rename them, you can rename it right there to um, Yahoo Top News Stories or something like that but I don't really care about that because it is the only map I have. So click that, then click OK, and check it out over here. All of the data from that file has filled in over here. So we have a bunch of stuff. 
Now every one of these individual things is something that we can click and drag over to put into our worksheet. But you want to make sure that you get the right thing. We don't want for the channel because that just talks about the RSS feed itself. We don't need an image. What we want is the item right here. But I don't want to take in all of this stuff. I only want to put the title and the link. So I'm going to click this, drag it over, and put it in the cell where I'd like it to fill in. Now the title is going to fill in here and down. I also want a link in case I'd like to visit the web page. So I'm going to grab that, drag it over here, put it in column B. Now if you want to remove this data so that it won't refresh, so say you put something in the wrong order, simply highlight everything and hit the delete key. You'll notice now that these are not bold anymore over here. Anyway though, we want the title and the link right where I put them. So I'm going to click this, drag it over here, put it in there, and click the link, drag it over there, put it in there. And now you're almost done. You only have a few more things to do. What you want to do is make sure that you click inside the table. This is formatted as an Excel 2007 table, so click in it. Then go to the external data or external table data and click refresh. So depending on your internet connection, it should be pretty quick. And you're going to get all of the headlines and the links just like this. Now let's do a little bit of formatting here so it looks a little bit better. Okay? What I'm going to do is select column A, right click it, go to format cells. On the alignment tab, we can, I can see that some of the cells are wrapped. So I simply want to uncheck wrap text. Now you don't have to do any of this, it's just formatting. Format it however you want, okay? Now I'm going to click OK. And now the cells are not wrapped. But there is one more thing that I need to do. I want to click within the data table and then click Properties. Here, when it says Data Formatting and Layout, I'm going to uncheck Adjust Column Width. I don't really want it to be changed every time I import data, so I'm going to uncheck that. Then click OK. So all I did to do that was click within the data table, go up to Properties right here, and then I unchecked Adjust Column Width. Now what I'm going to do is go to the right of column A and double click it. So that fills in very nicely. Now I don't really care how column B looks because it's just links. All I really want is this column right here. So now I can now I can see all of the updated info, right? Senate votes to keep Medicare cuts in health bill, blah, blah, blah. And then if any one of these interests me, all I have to do is go to the right, click the link, and it's going to open up in my browser, just like this. A little bit of an odd article, but the point is that's how you can um, pull in RSS feeds and then uh, click the link to get to read the actual article. And if I want to make sure I've got the most up-to-date data, I can simply click refresh in the external table data right here, and it's going to pull in the, the new data. Or I go to the data tab and click refresh all. Either one's going to do it. So data tab, refresh all, this is my personal favorite because I don't like to go into the design tab that much. But that's going to update it all. I'm going to go ahead and close the XML source window here and make this bigger. So that's how you can pull RSS feeds into Excel to do things such as get the most up-to-date news headlines so you don't have to keep going into your browser and you don't have to download an extra program to actually view the RSS feed because you can do it from any computer that has Excel just like this. Now if you'd like to get this workbook go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. Otherwise that's it for this tutorial.